Hi, so today I just want to look quickly at Beach Repeat, how it works. I'll be using it in some of my later videos, so I thought it would be good to have a, a, a reference video for it. I've got here um, a simple one bar loop with two beats. There's uh, 16 beats in this bar. Beat Repeat, it was a bit confusing to begin with, it took me a while to get my head around it. But um, I can explain now, I think it's quite quite simple actually. I've got an example here, DSFM, playing the beat in a drum rack, and here's the beat repeat. So the, the first thing we have is the interval, which defines how often the beat repeat will play. The grid is what, how much of the beat will be grabbed, sampled effectively and repeated. An offset where the beat will play the repeat will play and the number of times it will repeat down here. We'll keep it to these functions to begin with. I'll give you a simple example. Here at the moment we have the beat repeat set to play every one bar and it will grab a 16th note, i.e. this note here or this note here, and repeat it. So if I increase the number of repeats, let's put it on three, we can see that the offset set to zero. So zero is the first beat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So zero is the first beat. So it plays every one bar on the zero beat and it grabs a 16th, which represents this note here and repeats it three times if we listen. If I change this to two bars, We'll miss the next bar. If I change it to half a bar, so this sets the interval how often the repeat plays. This sets the position. At the moment, I'm playing on zero, but if I change it up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so eight sixteenths. and change this back to one bar. Now it will play the repeats on the eighth beat in the bar. And if I change this to two, it'll play two repeats. So, so it's as easy as that. If I wanted to grab a longer section, if I had a, a, an eighth note that played here, then I would change this to an eighth and it would grab an eighth and repeat that. So if I increase this up to one bar, 16, 16 beats, it'll play every beat in the bar for the repetition and just keep playing. Right, okay, the next one I think is pretty obvious. We'll put this back on three. We'll set this back to um, the offset back to zero. So it plays on this note. Chance, we'll put this on half. Chance is, of course, the probability of it playing the, let's see, playing the repeat, 50%. I think it's understood. Variation, let's put this back to 100. The variation is just different rhythmical patterns that play, let's put this back on one bar, when we get to the repeat. So there's just a selection of variations some more extreme than others. Okay, let's try this one here, five. It's the same variation, number five, but it just plays different rhythmical patterns. If you just want to keep a flat beat, zero, and then you're controlling with the number of beats here, um, Number one, Let's see what number eight does. Okay, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. As I say, this one here is how frequently 
the repeat is activated. This one is the offset in beats up to 16 along here. If I put it here again, this would be 12. Now it plays here. So this is the offset where you want the repeat to happen. And this is how much of audio of the audio it actually grabs or the so it's grabbing a, a, a 16th here. Okay, a um, couple more controls we have here. We can set the pitch to vary and have a decay. Let's put this on two. Vary the pitch of the beat repeat up to one octave, 12 semitones. We also have here um, a decay, which is basically a fade in. So if I put this on, let's say four beats, we can fade in 100% effectively cuts it out again. We fade into the repeat and you have a filter for trimming parts off if you don't want certain frequencies. Now, um, let's remove that. Finally, you can mix the original signal with the repeat. This would be the mix function. You can have the beat repeat play without the original, which is what I have it here as a cleaner signal. And then we can have a gate which doesn't play the original signal but um, just plays the beat repeats, you just get the repeats. See, it's actually starting right here if we look. If I put this back onto this, it'll start playing on the beat. So with the gate function, we're just getting the tail of the repeats. Um, okay, that's it really. I just wanted to go through this very quickly to explain how it works. Um, thanks for watching. I'll be using this in a future video. So, as always, enjoy your day. Take care. Thank you.